might record it, so I'm going to do it. Uh, this is my review of Star Trek Prodigy Episode 3, um, which, you know, dropped Thursday. Uh, I had reasons I couldn't. Also, if you can see the different location, you kind of guess where I'm at. I recorded a different video about that, so watch my previous video for that. Um, I like this episode a lot. I'm really enjoying this series, what it has to offer so far. This episode is basically where the last episode's episode left off last week, where Captain Janeway um, is kind of, you know, showing our crew what's going on. And a lot of uh, this episode is our crew investigating our ship, kind of seeing how our crew could eventually work as a team, right? Because they don't really work as a team right now. Because in the previous episode, they weren't able to even communicate with each other very well because they're all different species. And they don't have communicators like they would in Starfleet, things like that. And so, you know, they're not really working as a crew very well. But, you know, at the beginning of this episode, the crew, part of the crew wants to go to the Federation. Because if they go to the Federation, they may get protection against, uh, you know, bad guy girl's father I don't know her I forget her name but you know she she's a great character uh, in this episode you know kind of get more insight into her character but I really liked the, seeing these characters grow as a crew I had one problem with this episode so at the beginning of this episode our captain a kid main kid who claims to be captain sends them into a dangerous place and star coordinates and you know at the beginning of this episode Captain Jamie as a training hologram assesses these people to be cadets right so she didn't bother to send these people into a safer location or or like advise these people better. I get he ignored her, but like, you think that she wouldn't end up in a situation where if he didn't ask for help, it would have killed them, right? Because she had no idea what he was gonna do, right? Whether or not he was gonna ask for help, and they could have pretty much died in this situation. Um, it was like an awkward thing to see. It wasn't very good. <laughs> writing I think but for the most part I really like this episode because again we see our characters grow as a crew as a team um, the writing was pretty good for the most part I would say and um, yeah I, I really for the characters I really liked you know a rock girl monster I don't really know any of these characters names because let's face it I've kind of, Star Trek has a lot of weird names for characters and alien species so it's kind of like it's hard to memorize any characters names so like, unless you've been watching the show for like seasons seasons all right or like there's some easy like data you know Picard stuff like that so yeah I really like um, the show uh, so far I really like what they were doing here I, I'm you know they're gonna just keep learning and learning and learning and I like this idea of this crew, though I just find it weird that, you know, she assesses these, how these kids are essentially um, cadets. Like, she assesses that they're basically children, but yet she doesn't take extra precautions, which I find a little weird. But I guess that's just one of the faulty things of this premise. But if you just ignore that, you know, it's fine. It, it's still a pretty good, well-written show besides that.